Welcome to RLP Audiobooks channel, the channel that brings forgotten books back to life, in audio format, so you can listen to whenever and wherever you desire, whether you're driving, chilling, and even sleeping. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and click the notifications button, so you don't miss out on any other videos. Now, relax, listen, ponder, and enjoy. Surah 81. A Taqweer. Context. Period of Revelation. The subject matter and the style clearly showed that it is one of the earliest surahs to be revealed at Mecca. The theme and subject matter. It has two themes. The hereafter, and the institution of apostleship. In the first six verses, the first stage of the resurrection has been mentioned. When the sun will lose its light, the stars will scatter. The mountains will be uprooted and will disperse. The people will become heedless of their dearest possessions. The beasts of the jungle will be dazed, and will gather together, and the seas will boil up. Then in the next seven verses, the second stage has been described. When the souls will be reunited with the bodies, the records will be laid open. The people will be called to account for their crimes, heaven and hell will be brought into full view. After depicting the hereafter, thus man has been left to ponder his own self, and deeds, saying, Then each man shall himself know, what he has brought with him. After this, the theme of apostleship has been taken up. In this, the people of Mecca have been addressed, as if to say, Whatever Muhammad is presenting before you, is not the bragging of a madman, nor an evil suggestion inspired by Satan, but the word of a noble, exalted and trustworthy messenger, sent by God, whom Muhammad has seen with his own eyes, in the bright horizon of the clear sky, in broad daylight. Where then are you going, having turned away from this teaching? Surah 81. A Taqweer. The Wrapping. In the name of God, the most compassionate the most merciful. When the sun is wrapped up in darkness, and when the stars fall. Dispersing. And when the mountains are removed, and when full-term she-camels, are neglected. Those ten months pregnant, and nearing delivery. This verse alludes to distraction, from the most valued of possessions. And when the wild beasts are gathered, and when the seas are filled with flame. Or, when the seas have overflowed into each other and when the souls are paired, with another like soul, it can also mean, joined, with their groups or sex, and when the girl who was buried alive is asked, for what sin she was killed, and when the pages, on which are recorded the deeds of all people, are spread, made public, and when the sky is stripped away, and when hellfire is set ablaze, and when paradise is brought near, a soul will then know, what it has brought with it, Meaning, all of one's deeds from worldly life, which have accompanied the soul to the hereafter. So, I swear by the retreating stars, those that run their courses and disappear. Set. And by the night, as it closes in. An alternative meaning is, as it departs. And by the dawn, when it breathes. Stirs. That indeed it. The Quran. Is a word conveyed, by a noble messenger. Gabriel who is possessed of power, and with the owner of the throne, secure in position, obeyed there in the heavens, and trustworthy, and your companion, Prophet Muhammad, is not at all mad, literally, possessed by jinn, and he has already seen him, Gabriel, in the clear horizon, meaning, the eastern horizon, where the sun rises. Gabriel appeared to Muhammad at the outset of his prophethood, in the angelic form, in which God originally created him. And he, Muhammad, is not a withholder of knowledge of the unseen. Prophet Muhammad did not withhold that knowledge of the unseen, which God had revealed to him in the Quran. And it, the Quran, is not the word of a devil, expelled from the heavens. So where are you going? In your denial of the Quran, and in your accusations against the Prophet. The meaning is essentially, surely, 
you have strayed far from God's path. It is not except, a reminder to the worlds, for whoever wills among you, to go straight. And you do not will, except that God wills, Lord of the worlds. Thank you, for listening. If you have enjoyed listening to this book, please give it a like, and consider subscribing to the channel, and click the notifications button, so you don't miss out, on any other videos.